Hey, how's it going guys? Jeremy Donson here with TheDrumProfessor.com and today we're going to be going over Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. A lot of fun stuff in here, a lot of accents and rolls and diddles and stick control, rocking hi-hats, so we're going to break all of that down. Let's take it from the first verse. <laughs> First step to doing this, let's count the intro and go over how to do the intro. This is called a pickup note because it comes just before the downbeat of one. So in uh, the fourth measure, four, two, three, four, a one, you're going to do a, a roll or a rough on the snare drum. So let's count this and put it in and then I'll show you how to do this. Here we go. One, two. start. So the way we do this is just simply a bounce. Right? Okay, so once we do the bounce on our snare drum, then we do a heavy hi-hat every other time on our hi-hat, and this is called a rocking hi-hat. So we're doing shaft, tip, shaft, tip, to create that accent sound and it rattles just a little bit when you hit it on the shaft so it really adds some flavor to it and if you listen to the song you can clearly hear that there is a rocking hi-hat if you listen closely so once we do the rough hit the hi-hat with the bass drum that's your first step then another hi-hat here on top now real quick before I continue if you're not used to a rocking hi-hat for now, then just keep it the same, normal hi-hat, and we'll work on later breaking it down a little bit for you. So if you can do a rocking hi-hat, great. If, if it's something that's difficult for you, just keep it on top and don't worry, we'll work on it later on. Okay, so now once you get to the snare, first of all, you accent at the same time, you hit the snare. Now the first snare is accented, the second one is not. Accent tap is what we're doing. Now in order to do an accent tap, that would require a whole nother lesson on really how to break it down in, in detail, but just real quick, it takes a lot of stick control. So obviously, if you hit the accent, it's easy for your stick to bounce up high, but if you, if you control the accent and squeeze with your tips, then it's only this far off of the snare and then you just simply kind of drop with your back fingers and it'll do the tap or the bounce if you needed it to. So that's how you do accent tap or accent bounce. So, so once we get past the accent tap we're going to do high snare, high snare. So, and, and one's on top, one is on the edge for the heavy hi-hat. Top, heavy, top, heavy. Then the hi-hat and bass hit together. So I'm going to do this really slow. Hi 
high snare, high snare bass. High snare, high snare bass. And these snares are, there's only two accents in this whole beat. Everything else is a ghost or a tap. So. Now once you get to this point that we've gotten to, you do the accent tap again. Accent tap and on the hi-hat. Accent tap and and then you're going to do a bounce with one hand or a rough. Right? But you want it to be a little bit more open instead of kind of crushed like that, right? You have a little bit of separation, not like like that or something, but also not a buzz or a crush sound right in the middle. Should have a little bit of free flow and bounce there. So That's the main beat of the song. So let's break it down one more time, really slow, because this is a challenging beat here. So, okay. Now, if there's any questions about that, feel free to message me and I can go over in more detail with you. Uh, but that is the beat for most of the song. It's, it's pretty um, spread out throughout. So let's put this with music and see what it sounds like. And there is some small, subtle changes like a, maybe a heavier hi-hat, slightly open, stuff like that. So we're going to go over that right now. Here we go. Keyword here is dream of silver screen quotations, or you can just count it and know it's in the fourth measure, after the fourth measure, but that's where we do a little higher on the snare and then close again back to normal. So let's put this with music and then we'll continue. This is what you do. Now, just so you know, I if I if I do it this way and it's confusing, sorry about that, I'm left-handed. So if it is, do me a favor, comment on the comment box below, let me know, and I'll do more right-handed, but uh, I'll try to switch around for you. Okay. Alright, here we go. So what you're gonna do is after we go. So let's put this with music, and then it just repeats again, and then there's a fill, and there you go. So here we go, let's try it with music. Okay, now it does it again. 
right there. Location, fourth measure, you drag again. Or not even a drag, it's more of a <laughs> mixture between a drag and heavy hi-hat, but it's just heavier than normal. So, right, and it's on location, fourth measure again. Okay, that final fill. so soft it's almost like you don't even hear it it's mainly two so you could do this three snares the first one's a ghost or you could do two snares and just accent both of those snares but um, if you listen really closely it's tough but you could have a third snare in the beginning or two really honestly it's not a game changer either way but just so you're aware that that's um, optional either way so Get the bass, the fill starts. Or I'm going to do it with music both ways. You can choose. I would recommend doing the ghost because it's more challenging. All right, and that is a wrap. Now, before I officially call this done, I want to go over in detail about how to do the hi hat rock, the rocking hi hat. So, um, check this out. So the first bass and the accent of snare snare is on the edge. Okay. And stop. Now after the high ghost, the next high is on the edge again. Now I know obviously, okay, well obviously it's top and then edge, but it helps to know which specific beats you hit the edge on. So. Bass is on top, then accent tap, the accent's on the edge. So, accent, or edge, 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 edge. Then it starts over. So, one more time. Edge. And there you have it. Rocking hi hat. So, we had rocking hi hat, we had accent taps, we had a lot of stick control. And we had bounces all mixed in together in one beat. Very cool. That's why Chad Smith is awesome. So any questions that you have here, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to help you. And in case you didn't know, I'm currently offering a free jam session with me. One-on-one, -on -one, just us, similar to Skype, but a way better software. Um, and if you'd like to take advantage of that, contact me. Let me know. Let's do it. It's totally free. And if you like it, then we go from there and see what level you're at and how to get you to the next level in one month. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.